guys, what's going on? It's Jeff. Okay, super simple recipe. I probably do this once a week in our house. Um, it goes really well with just about anything. It's oven roasted asparagus. I like to do it with lemon zest. Uh, you'll see the ingredients are really, really simple. So all you're gonna wanna start with is pepper, a little bit of pepper, salt, uh, either grated Parmesan or Pecorino. Either cheese works, just kind of a hard cheese, uh, nutty flavor and then your asparagus. And the, and the way that you want to kick this whole thing off is, is really simple, guys. I, I didn't realize until recently that um, there was a lot of you that, that didn't understand how to trim asparagus, and it's super important because when by the time you get the asparagus home, um, the ends are, start to dry out, okay? So what you really want to do is just kind of take it, I, I take the entire bunch, and you want to cut off about an inch to two inches, okay? Now, if you get your asparagus that day, bring it home and cook, you can take off less, but mine is, mine's been in the fridge for at least two or three days, so I know that these ends are gonna dry out, okay? And they get really chewy. So just trim them, it's super easy to do. And it makes a big difference when, when uh, you go to serve them and, and what people think. Uh, in terms of how they taste. So just lay them out on a roasting pan. I have my oven on at 425, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna do, very simple, you're just gonna drizzle this asparagus with olive oil. I like to put my thumb over it. That way you get a nice kind of consistent drizzle when you're pouring this out. Okay, so pretty simple to follow so far, right? We trim the asparagus. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of salt. We drizzled it with olive oil. You're gonna put it in the oven at 425. I like to salt a little higher so you make sure that you get everything coated evenly. You kind of see how I'm doing that there. Okay, you're gonna drop it in the oven at 425. It, it really depends. It should only be 15 to 18 minutes. When you pull it out, I'll show you how you finish this thing off. It's gonna be super good. I think you guys will like it. Okay guys, let me show you what uh, you need to do to finish this recipe off for your asparagus. It's been in the oven for about 10 or 12 minutes. You wanna pull it out when it has about five minutes left to cook, okay? Then it's pretty simple. You're just gonna grab a microplane, and this is how you're gonna uh, zest the lemon. Now you really just kinda wanna grate it as evenly over the asparagus as you can, okay? It's not too crazy, not too complicated. You'll start to smell the, uh, the lemon immediately when you do this. It's just an awesome smell. And then once you've done that kind of evenly over the asparagus, then it's pretty simple. Then you're just gonna kind of finish it off. Now, if you wanna go dairy-free, you don't have to do cheese, okay? A lot of times I don't eat cheese. Um, and, and some of the better recipes that I make, uh, there's always a way to substitute it and things that you can do differently. But in this particular recipe, uh, it does taste pretty amazing if you have a little parm or uh, pecorino. Okay, so you just kind of put that over the asparagus. And then I like to finish with a little bit of uh, black pepper. You don't have to. Some of you might prefer just doing a little bit more salt. Okay, you drop this back in the oven for another three to five minutes and uh, you guys are all set. And I think you're gonna absolutely love the taste, okay? It kinda has like a citrusy flavor. It has a, like a little bit of a nutty flavor from the cheese. Obviously when you roast vegetables, they get a little caramelization, so that gives it some flavor too. So anyway, if you guys like the recipe, uh, let me know what you think. You've probably seen it before. If you haven't, this is gonna be a staple, I'm sure, for some of you uh, moving forward. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.